Obamacare doesn't work. So we are putting in a wonderful plan. It's statutorily it takes a while to get. We're going to be putting it in fairly soon. I think that, yes, uh, I would like to say by the end of the year, uh, at least the rudiments, but we should have something within the year and the following year. The legislating is going to be done this year. We are going to be done legislating with respect to health care and Obamacare this year. Well, that was President Trump and House Speaker Paul Ryan laying out a possible time frame for replacing Obamacare. But a new report suggests Republicans are working up to shore up the holes of the current law. The New York Times writing in part after denouncing the Affordable Care Act as an abomination for seven years. Republicans in Congress working with the Trump administration are urgently seeking ways to shore up health insurance marketplaces created by the law. While President Trump said as a candidate that Obamacare is certain to collapse of its own weight, Republicans fear such an outcome because now the fate of the health law is in their hands. They could be blamed by consumers and Democrats. For more on this, Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and David Webb, host of The David Webb Show on Sirius XM Radio and a Fox News contributor as well. It's great to have you both on a Monday. Good afternoon. David, what do you think about this? Well, I mean, consider the source, the New York Times, right, in this article. Not very credible, but let's look at the reality. We have 18% of our GDP tied up in health care. We have the Unaffordable Care Act, which has raised rates for Americans, caused problems with access to health care. The insurance marketplace is in turmoil. In order to fix it, it's going to be messy. And Republicans need to stop worrying about the poll-tested responses or the people that want to maintain a failed system and work to fix it for Americans, market-based. Why do you uh, think they are so worried about that, David. I'm, again, I'm just curious your perspective on it. So it's, it's because it's just politics as usual. It's politicians, and politicians are risk averse. Here's the real solution. If you fix this for the American people, if market-based solutions are brought into bear and you can buy insurance across state lines, if you have true portability, if you deal with the access to care, if you deal with pre-existing conditions, you deal with other aspects of it and you actually solve it, you will still have a mess here and there. But the majority of Americans will look around and find out that they're not paying, you know, expensive well, plans with $5,000 deductibles. An, it is an interesting point the New York Times brings up, uh, Leslie, whether or not Obamacare, think of the name, could actually be owned by the Republicans. <laughs> I mean, do you see that as that uh, that could be the case, that the Republicans now own the health care plan despite the law? You know, this is when I need to be a psychic or go to Vegas, Jenna, because this is exactly what I said. I said, you watch. They're not going to repeal and replace it. They're going to tweak it, and they're going to keep, uh, which there are many, uh, valued elements of the plan, because not only do they want to keep their jobs, they don't want to throw out those that have pre-existing conditions to be covered, or kids uh, staying under their parents' health insurance until 26 uh, years of age, or to put millions of people uh, out of a plan, or for those that are happy with and find it affordable for them, uh, they don't want to upset it's them, especially as voters. Leslie. Remember, remember, David, remember the insurance companies sent a letter to Congress stating, please, don't repeal this unless you have something to replace right. it with because but millions will their be uninsured. Agenda, Leslie. Uh, Leslie, in a macro sense, you cannot have a plan or an insurance marketplace where part of the population has another part of the population paying for it. That is not economically sound logic. The reality is the young and indestructible are not going to buy insurance coverage so they can pay for the aged and infirmed and those who consume more of it. That is the failure point. Also, people can write all the letters they want, but if we don't fix the problem, then insurance and the healthcare <coughs> marketplace fails for everybody. And that's not good so for where, those that need where it. Where is the line then? If it's Obamacare now and the Republicans do keep, Leslie, some of the parts of, of, of the law that seem to be good or popular, does it become Trump care and they also own that victory? Or is it always Obamacare and there's always that friction of branding about who owns this and, and who benefits from it? I think it depends on whose message you believe. Um, certainly, uh, the president is very good at putting his name on things. He likes that. He likes to take credit for things. But the reality is this, again, will not be a plan that they get rid of and replace it with. And, David, to your earlier point, the reason we needed the reformation wasn't just economic. It was also for the health, literally, of our nation. The reason we had so many hospitals close is because we had so many people entering the emergency rooms. That was uh, bankrupting the medical 
healthcare system, but also we didn't have enough health care providers to take care of those people that were ill. And as our but senior Obama population continues to grow, but that, that deficit is going to problem. only grow into the future. Leslie, uh, David, Leslie, just I'm like sorry, Medicare you're, you're and Social wrong. Security, it wasn't going to be a full fix in the first implementation yes, of the legislation sir. any more than any more than the Republican plan, if we could ever see it, Les uh, if wow. they could Leslie, ever come up with Leslie, one, will be a fix. All, Do you think we're gonna have to leave it? Unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave it there, but I wonder if we're ever gonna say Trump Obamacare, like it's one big name, and then it's bipartisanship. <laughs> how, how about we say the end of the failed Affordable Care okay. Act, as we saw by the lies by Jonathan yeah. Gruber, who well, was caught on tape, or by Ezekiel Emanuel, so who cannot though, defend it. We don't know what the plan is. So well, there, there are multiple plans written right. in Congress but that no, are waiting to be as debated. As you point out, David, no one's really getting behind it publicly because there's a there's a little bit of a fear. There's a little bit of yeah. risk aversion. It's something we're going to have to talk more about. Uh, Leslie and David, Don't great to have you both. Don't fear. Act. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. Thank you, Jenna.